Hello and good morning. Today our topic will be descending tracks. In the last video we discussed uh, the ascending tracks. Uh, so let's move forward. These are the learning objectives which will you get today. And uh, let's discuss it here a little bit. Uh, descending tracks are a uh, motor and they are uh, taking uh, advice from the brain to the parts of the body for example, uh, they might be taking some advice from the brain to the hands, so there should be water so that the muscles can be moved, okay? And the dorsal one was sensory, uh, which were the ascending tracks, and uh, anterior ones are uh, motor, uh, which are um, descending tracks, okay? And uh, these are the lateral corticospinal tract and fibrospinal tract. This is the olivar spinal, vestibular spinal, tectus spinal, and anterior corticospinal spinal tract. Okay, so let's move forward. Uh, these are the tracks that are coming down, and uh, the, the, this is the final common pathway. And uh, these, this is the muscle on which this motor neuron will act. Okay. So these uh, generalization of the motor paths, there are upper motor neurons known as eminence and lower motor neurons known as elements. And uh, this uh, generalization does not take into consideration the association neurons between the eminence and elements. Uh, association neurons are those neurons which are uh, interconnecting uh, these two, okay? So upper motor neurons, they are entirely within the CNS, they are not uh, present in the peripheral nervous system and they originate in the cerebral cortex, meaning hair, and uh, also in the brain stem, uh, meaning hair, and uh, they form the descending tracks like this. Uh, actually, it is a straight track, but uh, to show some uh, distinction they have made it like zigzag and uh, there are suppressed spinal neurons uh, plus their tracks okay these are the suppressed spinal neurons and this these are their tracts and they are collectively known as uh, upper motor neurons okay and then there are the <clears throat> sorry for that uh, this is the cervical section, the thoracic section, the lumbar section, and the sacral section. And uh, this is the primary motor cortex where from the uh, uh, descending tracts are emerging. And uh, this is the precentral gyrus. And then there, this is uh, the upper motor neuron emerging. Then when it uh, reaches downward it desiccates and then it goes down uh, first of all it travels ipsilaterally meaning on one side this is uh, and this is one side number one and this is side number two if something goes downward uh, without desiccating it is known as ipsilateral and if it desiccates it it is known as contralateral okay uh, then it becomes the lateral cortical spinal tract and then it comes here and uh, then there are another group of neurons known as lower motor neurons which uh, takes, take the masses to the skeletal muscles. Basically there are two types of neurons in the uh, descending tract. Okay. So, uh, lower motor neuron begin in the CNS and they uh, uh, from the anterior horn of spinal cord and uh, brainstem cranial nerve nuclei. Okay, and uh, they, 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 this is the stem of the spinal cord and they come from the anterior horn and they then go to the muscle skeletal muscles so here you can see this is the anterior horn of the spinal cord and uh, lower motor neurons are arising and uh, they are taking the message to the skeletal muscles and uh, there are the descending tracts
the nerve fibers that discern in the white matter uh, from different supraspinal nerve centers are segregated into nerve bundles called the descending tracts. Basically, nerve fibers from white matter, uh, they uh, all uh, come together and a uh, tract is formed, okay? And, uh, and then there are the three type, new, three neuronal order as well in descending tracts as they were present in the ascending tract. Uh, there are the first order neurons, okay? Then uh, when there is a dissipation in the pyramids, there are the second order neurons and after them, these are the third order neurons uh, which are attached to the muscles, okay? And uh, virtual pyramidal and extra pyramidal tracts. Uh, this is a term uh, often used by clinicians and uh, they refer specifically to the corticospinal tracts and uh, these tracts become concentrated anterior part of the middle of Roganta in pyramids. There are pyramids and olives and uh, these uh, concepts you will learn later on and there are extra pyramidal tracts referred to all descending tracts other than the corticospinal tracts. Basically the tracts which is not corticospinal is extra pyramidal, extra pyramidal tract and the corticospinal tracts are pyramidal tracts, okay? Uh, here you can see uh, this, this uh, diagram I've explained for in the starting. Uh, the functions of descending tracts, corticospinal tracts uh, con uh, control fine mover muscles uh, which are responsible for highly skilled movements of distal parts of limbs, okay? And uh, other supraspinal tracts, they play a major role in simple basic voluntary movements and uh, they bring about adjustment of muscular tone and uh, easy and rapid movements of joints can take this. Basically, um, um, this vertical spinal tracts are responsible for uh, the motor skills and uh, other spinal tracts are responsible for uh, small functions and heavy work is done by the cortical spinal tract. So, uh, in pyramidal system, uh, upper motor neurons, 75-35% are secured in the pyramids, okay. These are the pyramids in the medulla oblongata and they are desiccating here. And uh, the remaining uh, near and synapse, desiccate near and synapse with lower motor neurons, okay, present here, some desiccate here. And uh, in the pyramidal system, there is a corticospinal tract, there is a lateral corticospinal and anterior corticospinal and the corticotubular tract. Uh, they arise from the pyramidal cells of the cerebral cortex and uh, they travel to the corona radiator and posterior limb of internal capsule and the cerebral peduncle midbrain then pons and then medulla oblongata through pyramids. Okay, this are these are arising in the cerebral cortex and then they are coming down the uh, first order neuron. Okay, and then they reach the midbrain and then they reach the hindbrain and then they reach the medulla oblongata and they desecrate. Okay. Uh, this is an homunculus. Uh, there is uh, corona radiata present here, and uh, these are the area of cerebral cortex, which are controlling the sensory area of um, the motor area of the mouth, and this area controls the motor area of the limbs, and this area controls the leg. Okay. Uh, at the caudal part of the medulla, 90% of fibers cross midline motor desiccation, as I've told before, and they descend in the lateral column as uh, lower central <coughs> neurons and terminate on the lower motor neurons of the interior gray column at all spinal level. Okay. 
and the remaining uncrossed fibers descend as anterior corticospinal tract and uh, the lateral columns descend as lateral corticospinal tract okay and uh, then uh, the fiber cross the midline and they terminate on the lower motor neurons of anterior gray column of the cervical and upper thoracic spinal cord segments okay as you can see here these are arriving uh, in present in the cerebral cortex and then they are going down in the midbrain then they cross the pons they are going ipsilaterally okay and uh, when they reach the lower part of medulla oblongata the reciprocate and then they go contralaterally to downward okay and uh, these are the extra pyramidal tracts and uh, they are extra pyramidal because they do not pass through the medullary pyramids here is the medical uh, desiccation taking place and there is the cerebral cortex coronary eta to the thalamus, this is the internal capsule, this is the antiform nucleus, midbrain, cerebellum. Uh, these are all the tracts. These are the tracts of the uh, upper, more up, uh, sorry, uh, this upper uh, ascending tracts, and uh, this is the ascending tracts as well. Okay and uh, there's the branches of corticospinal tract basically you don't need to concern yourself with these then there are the clinicals i will make another video of that thank you very much for listening please like share and subscribe and i hope you like this video and please do share it thank you very much